In this video I'm going to answer questions that people have been asking me about the new math workbooks generator software that launched yesterday. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online and in today's video I want to talk to you about the new software that launched yesterday, the Math Workbooks Generator and the reason I'm making this video is to answer some of the questions that I've been getting about the software. If you're new to the channel I make videos on how to make low content books for Amazon KDP and other ways to make money online and uh, this new software launched yesterday and it creates math worksheets that you can then turn into books or printables. There are a lot of products that you can create with this software and currently there is a promotion and this promotion lasts till the 25th of July 2022 and it will end at 11.59 p.m. EST. So I explained the pricing in my previous video. It's heavily discounted for the launch period and the prices will go up after that. If you want to watch my last two videos where I explain the software, I made a tutorial on how to use it and then I made the video about the pricing structure. If you want to watch those two videos, they'll be at the end of this one. And today I just want to go over some of the questions that I have received about the software. So let's jump into it. One of the questions I received was about the tier system. The software has four tiers and uh, the first one is the front end. Basically that is the software in itself and then you can buy three more tiers that are add-ons to the software and some people were saying that they bought the first tier which is the software in itself, the main software and they wanted to buy the fourth tier but they couldn't unless they bought the second and the third tier as well and actually that's not the case you can jump from the first tier to any of the other tiers so you can buy the software and then add the second tier or the third tier or the fourth tier so you can access them and the way to do that is once that you are on the sales page you just scroll down to the end of the funnel. The sales funnel explains exactly what you get in the software and uh, you just have to keep scrolling down. I know these funnels can be very long but when you get to the end there's actually a really good informational part of this website which is the FAQs, the frequently asked questions and uh, just below that you can see it says no thanks, I understand I'm missing out on a lot of value but I would like to give this a pass. So once you click on that you get taken to the next tier. So if you don't want to buy the second one and you want to jump onto the third or the fourth you just do that by going right down on the funnel and uh, you click on this bit that lets you continue to the next tier. But what I wanted to show you is this part, the frequently asked questions because I have been receiving some questions and actually the answers to all of those questions are here. But if they're not here, please don't hesitate to send me your questions. You can either email them or you can ask them in the Facebook group, wherever you can reach me on social media. Just ask away and I'll try my best to answer your questions. And of course you can ask your question here on YouTube in the comments. So let's go through these questions first of all. The first one is can I get a refund on my purchase? And when we click on that, it says no, all sales are final. So please make sure you can and will use the product in your business before you make the purchase. And the reason they're doing that is so that people are absolutely clear that they need and want this software. You don't necessarily have to get this software. This is something that you would get if you want to expand your KDP business or your printables into the educational niche. So this is not for everyone. This is a software that's particularly good for people who want to get into the educational niche, that want to create math worksheets. And if it's not something that appeals to you, then just skip it because um, you have to be absolutely sure that you want this software. So this is a really great software for educators, for teachers, maybe for people who have taught in the past. So for those people it's ideal or if you are homeschooling your children or you just want to create some practice 
worksheets for your own children, then this is ideal. But if you are not familiar with this niche, you can always research it and uh, get your information that way. But like I said, I mean, it's ideal for people who are knowledgeable in the education niche and especially in the math niche. The next question is, I need more information before I can make a buying decision. That's a really good question because sometimes we just need that little bit extra information. And it says, please reach out to our friendly support team with questions, which is support at cloudorca.com and that is also the support email address which is support at cloudorca.com. Then the next question is do you provide training? Yes they provide a step-by-step -step video training. There's lots of videos on this software and they go through all the functions and all the features in the software in training videos. Another question I had was somebody asking if this would work on a mobile phone and to be honest I don't think it is suitable for a mobile phone because it's quite a, a big software it's quite involved so I think making books on a mobile would be quite difficult I'm not sure that you can do that this is something that you would have to ask the team I would say this is ideal for a, for a PC or Mac rather than a mobile the next question is does this software work on PC or Mac so maths worksheets generator pro is a cloud-based application therefore the software works on your computer irrespective of whether you have a PC or Mac so it works on both and then what if you get stuck well if you get stuck with the app and need help they have you covered. They've got an extremely responsive support team waiting to help you out. They also have a Facebook community. If you get the software and you do get stuck, they are ready to help you there. And it's a very active group. I'm in that group myself. And you can ask any amount of questions. There's always someone to answer. The next question is, can I buy this later? Yes, you can, but the price may increase in future. Now is the best time to get it at the current discounted price and I went over the pricing in my last video it's hugely discounted at the moment and the next question is are there any upgrades the answer is yes there are three upgrade offers in the funnel that you will learn about after you make the front end purchase on this page by the way each tier or each upgrade has got one of these FAQ pages so they are all slightly different this is the question page for the front end so the others will be slightly different because they address questions that you get with each of the tiers so in this one it says the first upgrade gives you access to premium features as described on the respective sales page so everything you find on the sales page that's what's included in the front end and the second upgrade gives you an opportunity to add the capability to create worksheets on as many as five more math topics. And then the third upgrade is a collection of high-end themed design elements that you can use to create your books. So you will learn the details of what is included in each of the products on the respective sales pages that you will see after the purchase on the front end product. So they tell you exactly what you get for each upgrade and they tell you exactly what you get in the front end. So if you imagine the front end is the main software and then the upgrades just give you more features. The next question is, do I need to buy the upgrades to make the front end software app work? And the answer to that is no, you don't have to buy any of the upgrades to make the front end application work. Think of the upgrades as an additional feature available for a fee if you want to pick them up to make your workflow more streamlined. This is what I just said about, you know, they're just additional things, they're just extras. <laughs> so if you've got the front end, that is the main, the main software, and then you can just put extras on top. The next question is really important because it's how do you define a download? If I download a 10 page book, Will it count as one download credit or 10 download credits from the limit of 100 credits per month? This option, the front end, offers you um, 100 downloads per month. So a download happens when you click on any of the download buttons and then ends up downloading a single file or zipped file to your local computer. So if you create just one page worksheet and download it that would count as one credit used if you create a 10 page book 
containing multiple pages of math worksheets and download the entire book in one click, then that would count as one download credit as well. So it's every time you click on download, that is one download irrespective of how many pages you have downloaded. The next question is, can I sell the worksheets, books or any derivative products on marketplaces like Fiverr, Creative Fabrica, Design Cuts, etc.? And the answer to that is no, you can't. You cannot create any content to sell on such platforms using the app. And that is because those platforms are for people to buy products that they can then sell as well. So you are allowed to publish your books that you create with the software on Amazon KDP. You can create printables and sell them on Etsy and on other platforms, but that's because they are for people to use for their personal use. What you can't do is give people a commercial license to then resell this product. So if you're signed up to this software through my link, you know that I'm also offering two bonus products. One is the easy book mock-up generator and the other one is the printables mini course. And in that course, I will explain exactly what you can do with these type of printables if you want to sell them on places like Etsy. And I will explain to you where you can sell all these type of printables as well. But what you can't do is you can't sell them on Fiverr, Creative Fabrica, those kind of sites where you're selling them for people to make a profit you can't do that. They have to be for personal use for the end user. The next question is, is this really available for a one-time investment? Yes, at the moment when you're reading this, the product is available for a low one-time fee. If you buy this now, you will have the product for life. And in the future, they may decide that they want to increase the price or they might change it to a monthly or annual subscription model. So that will be for people that haven't bought the product now, they will then have to buy it at a higher price or maybe it will change to a subscription. This will not affect the people who are buying the product now. The next question is, are there any limitations on the number of worksheets or practice workbooks I can download? So with this purchase, which is the front end tier, you get access to 100 downloads per month. So that means every time you click download, you can do that a hundred times in one month with this tier. Obviously, with the upgrades, you can then increase that. The next question is, can I use the worksheets generated for commercial use? Absolutely. You can sell your worksheets and math practice books on Amazon KDP, Etsy, and through your own e-commerce website and keep 100% of the profits. Like I said, I mean, I will explain all of this also in my bonus course that I offer to people who buy this software with my affiliate link. And I will go through exactly where you can sell this and how to sell it so that this can become another income stream apart from Amazon KDP. You can make printables and sell them on other sites as well. The next question is, can I sell books to others with commercial use rights? No, you can't. We answered that earlier as well. You can sell them to people who are then using them for their personal use, but you can't sell them to people to then make money and give them a commercial license. That's not what this product uh, allows. So you cannot sell the math worksheets to a client who uses the assets or the book you sold for commercial use. And then the last question just goes over the things that you are not allowed to do with the files. So you cannot sell resell rights to the products you create. You cannot sell any images created using this software on Fiverr, Creative Fabrica, Design Cuts, as I explained earlier. You cannot sell PLR rights to the products you create. You cannot create freebies using the app and distribute them. And you cannot use the name of the creators of the application or the math worksheets generator brand in any of the products you sell. So this software is basically for people who want to create books on Amazon KDP. It's absolutely fine for that. Or for people who want to create printables and then sell them on Etsy or on Teachers Pay Teachers or on your own website, on your blog, that kind of thing. So you're okay for things like that, but not for others to sell commercially. If you're not clear on any of this, please don't hesitate to leave your questions below 
this video and I will try and answer them as best as I can. But I hope that this page kind of helped you with some of the questions that I've been receiving and uh, like I said I mean if it's not absolutely clear just ask away and we will try and make sure that you absolutely know what you're buying <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video I will leave all the links under the video if you're interested in buying this app then I suggest you watch my previous videos that showed you a tutorial on what you can do with this app and also the pricing structure is explained in my last video thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye